In this video, we're going to be using Sterling Duke and the Leaf Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Welcome in, welcome in. As mentioned before, today we're going to be using Sterling Duke, and this comes to you for $14.25 for 5.8 ounces, and on our cost chart there, that is an exceptional price of $2.45 per ounce. The scent on this is really, really good. I'm going to put the scent description for you on the screen right there. This one is inspired by a Burberry Brit for men and it is good. The scent strength out of the tub is right around medium but it gets a little stronger as you lather it and it is fantastic. This is in Sterling's tallow base. I'll put the ingredients for you right there. And man, we are looking forward to this because I love Sterling. It's easy to lather, it's priced great. And what can I say that I haven't said already about Sterling, it is fantastic. And by the way, if you do buy this, and I got this at the Razor Company, I will link this product below. Use a promo code IMCDB, and it helps the channel if you do. And at least, at least half of the proceeds that I get from any um, affiliate income from the Razor Company will be going to you all via gift card. So I hope you'll uh, plug that in when you shop at the Razor Company. All right, thank you to the Razor Company for that, by the way. The razor for today is the Leaf Razor, and of course, Leaf is a sponsor uh, if this of this channel, if you'd like to get 5% off your order at LEAF, also use discount code IMCDB at LEAF. And remember, LEAF products, uh, you have a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. So if you don't like it within a few weeks, send it back and get your money back. Now, the LEAF costs $84 and it uses half double-edged razor blades. And today I've got, uh, I broke one nasset in half and then I had another half laying around. So we're using three today and the leaf is different. Sorry about that fuzz on the razor there. It's there from where I dried it off last time. But anyway, uh, it pivots and this is a very user-friendly razor, especially for people who are coming into uh, DE shaving from carts. But I like using it, you know, I like using it a lot on my dome and from time to time, I like to use it on my face as well. And again, Leaf is a, a sponsor of this channel, so thank you so much, Leaf. And let's get into it today. We'll start by misting the face, and I remind you, I will link the products below. And I believe the Razor Company also sells Leaf razors, so you can check there too, if you please. All right, let's get to lathering today's brush. Is the Yachi Aqua brush. And we've got a nice lather here with Sterling, as we always do. We didn't spend a ton of time on it. Um, but it's going to be nice, slick, and creamy. As I always say when I use Sterling, if someone tells you Sterling isn't slick, walk away. Just walk away. <laughs> but that is obviously somebody who's struggling with lathering. So just walk away and work on your lathering. And Sterling produces, quite frankly, some of the best lathers that I make. So it works very, very well for me. It has all the attributes that I need to perform the shave. And as we often caveat as well, if you think you lead, need a little more post-shave conditioning, get yourself your favorite balm or a skin elixir, or skin elixir and uh, condition that way. But Sterling also has balms and body butters and all sorts of other things available too that you can use there. Splashes, whatever, they got it. Witch hazel. So you can check them out, and I'm, uh, I'm a little strong on water content in my lather today. I use the, uh, today I'm using the Cayune uh, bowl, and I have been using my HCNC bowl primarily, and I do intend to do that video on the two bowls when time permits, but time just hasn't permitted so far. But we will get to it. We will get to it. Let me wipe my handle off my brush here before I get too far along. Uh, one of the things I want to mention is next Friday, 8 p.m., David and I will be back on Real Talk. I'll put a slide on the screen there for you. And remember, that's at the So Sharp David account, and I will link that below. Now, I'm not saying we're going to be back on regular schedule yet. We will be back eventually, but I decided next week, you know, let's try to do a show. It's been a while. And just keep you informed on what's going on. Got a lot of stuff to report, and we will be having guests again on Shave Talk, the other show, when I can. And I already have some commitments there that I won't honor in terms of guests. And so just stay on the lookout to, for that. The first one will be uh, Rick from Sebum because I promised him a long time ago we'd do a spot and we will do that. So uh, be on the lookout for that probably when I get home. Um, I just have not had a lot of time here. All right, let's talk about the razor here a little bit. 
The leaf razor is a very, very interesting razor because it pivots, as you can see there. So when you're going around the jawline, it just sort of does that, you know, rotation for you. So you don't have to do it. So if you're coming from carts that pivot, this, this is a natural um, progression. It's very easy to use. And for me, the multi-blade part, because you, technically you have multi-blades because you put half DE blades in there. Um, for me, there's no tugging or pulling or anything like that. So I've never had any problem with the fact that it contains multiple blades. I don't think multiple blades are the problem in cart razors. I think the design of them sometimes causes them to pull. And uh, with the leaf, it doesn't pull, or at least it doesn't for me. I've never had any problem with it. So it's just a nice, smooth, easy going razor. It doesn't feel super aggressive or anything like that. And you just sort of pull it around and, you know, get it into that pivot and let it glide and you're good to go. So I always get good shaves from it. And I've always gotten really good head shaves from it. But in the last, I don't know, five, six months, I've used it a number of times on my face. And I didn't realize what a good uh, face shaver for me it is too. So that's always nice. Very unique razor. Well, there's another company now that sort of knocked it off called Shavent. Um, but prior to that, there was really nothing like this razor. But this is the original, if that matters to you. And of course they have different colors and things like that, but um, definitely a nice and unique razor. I mean, that first pass was very nice. The soap just smells great. It's like I said, I overhydrated this lather a little bit today, but that is okay. That is okay. We'll still get an excellent result. You don't have to be perfect with your lather all the time. The key is slickness. If you get slickness in it, you'll be okay. You just don't want spots that aren't, aren't slick. And, and quite frankly, even if it's a little on the not so hydrated side, you can probably get by with it. I did for years, honestly. So it's not, um, it's, again, as, as we talked about yesterday, this is not rocket science. If I can do it, you can do it. Just get some slickness in there. Be mindful of your technique and you will be fine. So if you've been looking to learn about the leaf, you know, here, here's your day to <laughs> see it in use a little bit. Really nice razor. I've had mine for several years now and I have used it a ton. In fact, I was using it long before Leaf became a sponsor of this channel. So when they approached me, I was like, hey, that's a perfect fit because I love the Leaf, you know. And again, keep in mind the razor is warranted for life. So if something goes wrong with it, they'll take care of it. And also, um, if you don't like it within 30 days, you know, you can send it back. So take advantage of their guarantee if you please. All right, let's get going here. Very nice, very smooth. This is not a threatening razor. And by the way, you don't have to put three half DE blades in here. You can use one, you can use two, you could do whatever you like. I have three today, but you don't have to. You could just use single blade if you wanted. It's totally up to you. Um, I kind of like that customization, you know, and putting control in the hands of the user. Works well for me. Very nice. See how you just put it in position and let it glide. You know, pretty easy, smooth, easy going. And that is always uh, great for me when something's just easy peasy, smooth, nothing rough. If you feel something rough with your leaf, something's wrong. You need to change the blade. You need to make sure the blade's in there right, something like that. It should never be rough. Um, and the good thing is there's so many blade types out there that you can experiment with blades to find the blades that work best in your leaf. So with me, I use uh, Gillette Nasset pretty much across the board and it's perfection for me all the time. So, but you can use whatever blades you like or even mix them within the razor if you please. So the soap today, Sterling, Duke, excellent quality as always. And to be quite honest with you, when I use Sterling, every time I use it, I think, why in the world do I pay six, seven dollars an ounce for soaps? And the answer for me personally is, I know the answer, it's just for scent. If a scent is great, like Great Bear the other day, I'd pay that kind of money for that soap for the scent. For the quality, it's a wash. Um, 
Uh, Sterling works as well for me in terms of the active shaving, providing the slickness that I need than any soap. In fact, I just bought a soap um, from the Razor Company, one of the, uh, what's it called? Can't think of the name of it, but it's very expensive. And I bought it just to try it and see, does this thing, and I've tried one before, I think it's Ethos. I've tried one before and I thought, let me give that a second shot and let me see if the performance really warrants the price. And we'll see, I'm gonna keep an open mind and uh, you know, see how that goes. But very, very expensive. It had a scent that I liked, and I thought, let's treat ourselves to a so-called premium soap. Now, whether it's premium or not in quality, you know, that remains to be seen. That's why we use it, and then we'll decide. But uh, I tell you, I can't imagine having more slickness than I got right now, quite honestly, because again, slickness is mostly due to you. Uh, we've piled so many accolades onto the soaps. Now, and uh, when it comes down to it, and I have used enough soaps to know at this point, well, well north of 1,000, I can tell you that mostly it's you because there's very few soaps on the market and probably almost zero that aren't slick if you lather them. If you get the best out of the soap, it's going to be slick. It's really that simple. All right. Very nice. The water's running. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Hopefully you can't hear that. No big deal. We will not get triggered by that today. <laughs> Very nice shave so far. All right. That was just excellent. And I love the scent on this. It is fantastic. Really, really nice. So we have had a great run today with our leaf and Duke. Uh, let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off came. We did a rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no stinging. So super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice shave indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with Sterling Soap Company Duke. Beautiful scent, beautiful quality, beautiful soap. I absolutely loved it. And don't forget, if you buy this at the Razor Company or anything else for that matter, use promo code IMCDB and it does help the channel. Thank you so much if you do. We also used the Leaf Razor today which is an excellent transition razor, or in my opinion, just an excellent easy going razor, period. And don't forget, if you do use LEAF, uh, use discount code IMCDB and LEAF will give you 5% off your first order. And don't forget, they do have a 30 day satisfaction guarantee. So if you don't like the razor, send it back. What do you got to lose? Uh, we used our Yachi aqua brush today and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And we're gonna finish this off off cam with the old wet the face, the quiet man aftershave complete with the floaties. And I hope wherever you are today, you have an excellent shave. And don't forget to check us out next Friday on Real Talk. We'll be back. Hope to see you there. Thank you so much for joining me today, folks. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.